Hey you guys, um, thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you did, um, which you did or you wouldn't be here listening to me, but then there's probably a message here for you um, and the, the universe, spirit, um, is guiding you to give you a message. So um, try to figure out how it resonates and fits for you. I may be speaking about you, but it could actually be someone else in your life. So you may have to flip switch or reverse the roles, but never try to like force anything. If it just doesn't fit, just let it go and let the message go to someone else. Um, but there's always a reason for everything. I have already um, uh, randomly selected the winner for the, uh, the tarot cards that was donated by uh, Soul Season, um, I'm sorry, that was donated by the Abyss Tarot and the tarot cards are the Soul Season Tarot. Uh, I also, you guys, um, gave away one of the free 15 minute reading uh, to one of the subscribers here on this channel um, because, and I'm not gonna say who it is just to protect their privacy until you know they're ready to come forward publicly but they were actually taken advantage of by a reader on youtube and my heart really goes out to this person and um and it just i i just want to be you know transparent with you guys so to let you know that i am giving that reading away because i just I didn't know what else to do for this person to help them and they, they reached out to me and they really needed some guidance. So I was like, you know what, I've got these two free readings that I give away every month to help people the best way that I can. So I'm just going to go ahead and give this to you. And um, so she was so very grateful and I mean, I didn't know what else to do, you guys. So I hope that, um, that that's okay with you, but there's still another reading that I'm going to be giving away. Um, I just need to go in. Um, pick one of the videos and then randomly select somebody out of the comments. I still haven't chose someone yet, so I will do that. Um, and um, if you are interested in trying to win, then then please feel free to um, be subscribed, like, and comment. And I choose winners each month. Also, if you, real quick, if you are needing some assistance, if you need help, if you're needing some guidance, and you simply just cannot like legit cannot afford it and you need some help, please reach out to me. Um, the least I can do is try to donate some of my time and energy and gifts and knowledge to help out the best way that I can. Um, you know, I, and I understand what it's like to just really need help, really need answers, but like you are just financially unable to do that the least i can do is do that for you so please um don't hesitate to reach out to me i want to to do my part so um anyways also if you are looking to book a reading you can always reach out to me as well but my info is in the description box so I'm going to go ahead and get into this. I'm going to use the singing bowl to clear out the energy for myself and yourself and um, create like a sacred space for us to connect with spirit because I do go about connecting with spirit in a very sacred way. It's not about parlor tricks and, you know, all of the things. So if you would like to take a moment to create a sacred space for you and your spirit team, then please feel free to envision a healing light surrounding you full of unconditional love. Breathe that light in and then just ask your spirit team to really um, connect with you through this reading that's going to bring you messages of value insight clarity you can also follow along with me as i say a quick little prayer out loud Thank you, Divine Source Energy, Divine Holy Spirit, 
Thank you, spirit guides, angels, archangels, guardian angels. Thank you, ascendant masters of love and light, ancestors of the highest good, angelic, cosmic, galactic, celestial beings, higher light beings, and any and all benevolent energies, entities, beings that come only from divine source energy of love and light that can best assist with this reading that I will do this evening for the collective. I call upon you to be here with us to guide, bless, and protect this reading, myself, and each and every person that finds their way here. May everyone involved in this reading feel safe, loved, and connected to the all there is, and may the messages received here this evening be of value, be purposeful, meaningful, and really make a difference. I thank you for only honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and messages that come only from the divine, that are only of the highest good and to the harm of none, with peace, love, light, and gratitude. So it is. Namaste. So one of the things that, or a few of the things that Spirit was showing me that this reading may, um, be for you or may be a sign for you and even if you don't have any of these signs that doesn't mean that the messages aren't going to be for you but i'm picking up for some reason share the the musician the the singer share um picking up share i'm picking up like um leaks like a leak in someone's home or like structural damage some sort of structural damage in your home um <clears throat> an alligator for some reason like I'm seeing an alligator or like a, a reptile um, some sort of reptile um, uh, ladybugs or like some sort like uh, any kind of like bug or like a random bug like um, I don't know but uh, those may be like significant or like some like like just kind of popping up for you showing up for you in some form or fashion maybe you hear about someone like having a like their home flooding or there's a leak somewhere or there's some sort of structural damage maybe you see share like a drawing or you see her on a video or you hear a song or something like that or maybe that's something that you have seen um maybe like and the um, other things that I mentioned, like maybe uh, around your home, um, like there's a, I'm seeing, a, I'm seeing spiders, I'm seeing gnats, um, ladybugs, um, or any kind of like intrusive, like bug or anything like that. Okay, show me clearly. I don't know why I picked up this deck. This wasn't the one I was going to use, but we're going to use it. Um, I do feel like you have some sort of of um, soul contract. Those of you that found your way here, you have a soul contract um, with your children, with a child, or because it's like I'm seeing you have a very gifted child. Um, I, I just heard eight years old, so I don't know like if there's something significant about um, a child being eight years old or something significant may have happened to you at the age of eight. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like you are a guide for your child, like your child or your children are light workers. They are like um, part of like the, like a, a the, like yeah they're like part of like um this this tribe this these light worker tribes that have come in to um help evolve humanity also <clears throat> i just heard split so there's going to be a split soon um where um part of the the collective is going to be here on this earth and I know you guys have been hearing about the new earth or maybe you haven't, but either way, like we are about to split. If you have found your way to this reading, it's like, I feel like you're going to be part of the group that does split. Like you are splitting, you're going to another, like another earth. And I know that that is something that is like, you, you probably already know this, but, or maybe you don't, or maybe you think I'm crazy. Um, or or whatever but like that's something that I'm picking up on especially after the election in the US 
Like there is a split. There's a massive split after the election. Okay. I feel like some of you um, may be like either like trying to avoid a person in your life or maybe you're dealing with someone that is also like been trying to avoid you. Maybe you're getting frustrated with someone or like, you you know, whether it's a romantic partner, a friend, a family member, but there's this sense of like needing some space from someone or like taking a break. Show me clearly, spirit. Changing. What did I tell you? I was talking about the split and then look, troubles ahead. There's like, there's a massive split that's about to take place. We're about to change. We're switching. We're going to a whole new timeline. Yes. Something here is changing significantly. Understand that there's nothing to fear. You are about to experience some massive, massive shifts and changes. There may be something significant for you with butterflies or moths. Um, you may see this as a sign from spirit as well. Yeah. Ugh. So there may be something too, like this is just random, but having sex with someone like a quickie in order to like just pacify them to make them shut up or something like that, like to make them, you know, um, so like don't ever feel like you have to just have sex with someone, but I mean, there may be like that energy where you feel like you just have to um, do some, you know, I don't know, but you know what I'm saying? Like, um... Married women, you'll understand what I'm saying. And then we've got ghosting incoming call. You may be dealing with someone that is like been avoiding your avoiding talking to you or avoiding having a conversation with you. Or like maybe you've been avoiding people's phone calls. You just don't want to talk. And that's another thing. Like you may find yourself like withdrawing. Like you just don't even want to talk on the phone or like you don't really want to text. Or like, you know, you find that you are um, just kind of not really wanting to spend a whole lot of time talking to people. Um, and like, you, you may be also really confused too about why a person is kind of ghosting you or not talking to you as well. There may be like some on again, off again, conversations and then just get, you go silent or your this person may go silent um i'm also too getting a, a a connection that someone went silent on you or they ghosted you is about to reach out and communicate with you yeah there's something there you are might be a bit stressed out or there's like some stressful communications taking place um okay Um, I'm also too seeing relocation. So either you're thinking about moving or relocating or there's someone that maybe you're talking to or that you've been connecting with or there's like someone that has moved or relocated or like maybe you're like there's someone that might be moving um, in with you or you moving and I have actually gotten that for in my collective readings for a while now. There's like some sort of moving relocation. You may also be like doing something like changing things around in your home but look if you're if you're like not feeling happy in your present location like where you're presently living you're unsatisfied like i just heard pack your bags so like you may actually be moving relocating um because like you cannot grow anymore in the environment where you're at and it doesn't necessarily mean like that you're living in a toxic situation it doesn't necessarily mean that but what it means is like there's something geographically um 
uh, that's causing some sort of issues regarding like the area, the land, the town that you're in, that's not allowing for you to grow and evolve. Like you're needed somewhere else you're needed so like you may feel unsatisfied with like maybe your your current apartment your house you know wherever it is that you're at and so you need to move you're being guided to another area of of your either your town your state your country wherever it is that or another part of the world even but you're being guided to to like to leave the three of cups there's something too changing with regards to like maybe your friend group or a friend. You may be getting a new friend. There's um, some sort of like collaborations taking place. You're being guided. So when you move, like you're being guided to um, so that you can connect with your soul tribe because there is this shift taking place and you'll need to connect with them because it's like almost like what they're showing me in movies is like, um when the witches come together they're like more powerful they're stronger and like they can fight the darkness stronger that's basically what i'm seeing but so like you're coming together because your energies collectively in that area is going to be able to like help and you don't even you don't even have to necessarily do anything it's just by your specific energy being in the location that you're moving to even if it's like you know down the street or like you know not necessarily down the street but even if it's like down you know to another town or to another side of town or whatever it is like that's where you're needed that's where your energy is needed you know um so wherever it is that you're going it's needed and you may not even realize that you are you know feel like you're going to move look oh the six of wands still and the nine of cups something here is changing some sort of wish fulfillment you are about to like um receive some sort of praise recognition you know you are being exalted the the universe spirit wants you to know that by you finding this reading you are about to be exalted up in some form or fashion so like there's um there there's like um a rebirth here as well there's like um you are um having some sort of comeback in your career or like regarding like your um your life purpose so like you may have gotten fired or like you may have lost a job um for for any reason or like business may have been bad or like maybe your hobby you may have been doing like some sort of hobby that maybe you took a break from or like there was a temporary pause for some reason maybe you had a temporary pause so that you could go to school or something like that but whatever this is it's like there's um this is evolving and allowing for you to have this comeback and it feels very satisfying you are also too what is what comes before the nine of cups is the eight of cups that's a journey that's like you know no longer feeling satisfied with something that once brought you comfort so like if you're living in an uh, uh let's just say you're living in an apartment that um i just use an apartment as an example because i i live in an apartment so it's the first thing that come to mind but it doesn't have to be an apartment it could be anywhere so but let's just say you're living in an apartment that you love and or that you loved when you first moved there and it was great and wonderful but then um all of a sudden like it just you know you started noticing maybe there's problems or this or that um and so you don't feel necessarily fulfilled or happy anymore so there are changes that are taking place because you for one are such a profoundly strong manifester that you are creating a whole new reality like you are creating new timelines and so with this nine of cups you are creating another timeline that is more satisfying more fulfilling for you um and you are being exalted here you are rising you are having a comeback where you're going to feel happier there's also two like uh, i mean the the six of wands can represent for me i feel like this can represent relocation as well because it's like the minor arcana of the chariot and the chariot can also mean moving relocation travel and it's like going on some sort of journey look here's this three of pentacles there's some sort of an offer an opportunity here to like resolve some sort of an issue and getting people um 
uh, on the same page. Everyone is kind of getting along and or will be getting along and you are having an opportunity to like, um, like work with people, um, um, like compromising, collaborating with one another in a peaceful, peaceful way. I'm seeing you like trying to defend yourself. You may be doing something where like you are having to like, um, stand up against like a bully or like stand up against like maybe you're um, defending someone else or like protecting someone else or so you're either like going to be in a position of protecting yourself or, or like standing up against bullies or someone else um, because I do have the seven of wands here as I go further down the deck all right what is this ghost thing here spirit So there may be like someone that is ghosting you that's causing a sense of confusion and uncertainty like what the hell you know there's like the the two of pentacles there's like this back and forth up and down you know like um and someone here needing to make a choice or a decision uh and you may be feeling just feeling very confused about a person or a situation and just Things just feel very ungrounded here. And the Seven of Cups also represents like wishing, hoping, dreaming, like wishing and procrastinating. So there may be like this kind of like disappearing act someone does on you or like you kind of do this disappearing act in general and just kind of procrastinating on like making phone calls or like, you know, communicating with people either professionally or um, either professionally or um, personally. Hold on just a second. I'm also too seeing like, um, like, becoming popular online you know there may be like some communication with someone online that like reaches out to you dms you and like there's um some excitement about like uh dating online and having multiple offers multiple opportunities but there may be like some tension or stress because there's some it's like something here like it's all like look there's the chariot so there may be some stress too or like overthinking or worrying about like moving or relocating or having worried about having to move or relocate but um i feel like there's definitely like someone from your past and this may even be years ago or maybe not too long ago but there's someone here from your past no matter how long ago it was that did dip on you that did um disappear and it's like they're seeing your life changing they're seeing you like in a whole new light and they're like wtf like where did this come from how you know how did i not see this in them before and, and they're very like confused about like why they never saw you in this type of light before so they may be like watching you online or like you know if you have like a social media platform or like if you are um dating or talking um, to people becoming popular but i but more than anything like i really feel like you are you know really finding your peace like you have been on a journey of self-discovery and inner reflection and spending time like really um growing quietly you know um away from the public eye or away from other people like you've been on this spiritual journey that maybe you haven't been talking to people about but now like you're emerging out of your cocoon into the spotlight or like out into the world 
for people to see this brand new you that has overcome like a buttload of ish and finding your peace and like you're just glowing and you've got people like confused as hell like how you did this um how are you how are you you know still standing i'm still standing da -da 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 -da. Na, 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 what is this incoming call spirit the queen of cups someone wants to come in and express their feelings there may be a mother too there may be a mother energy that's reaching out wants to talk to you um or there's someone that wants to come in and express their feelings there may even be, be someone that, that wants to come in and, like, tell you off because I just saw the Knight of Wands. Or there's someone that may have, like, came in and, like, told you off and then dipped on you and left you, like, what the, you know, WTF. <laughs> but tell me, what is this incoming call, spirit? Oh, someone wants forgiveness. But there's too many cards. Something here about some sort of communication coming in is going to bring you justice, though. Like you're getting sent, like you're getting some sort of karma, like you're getting some sort of karmic justice um, because of like whatever this incoming call is, whatever this communication is that's coming in, it's bringing karmic justice for you. Tell, can I get single jumping cards only, though, Spirit, and tell me what is this incoming call? There may be, it's someone here from your past that, that or a job from your past, or maybe it's a client from the past or a past gig that wants to, like, come in and, like, offer you, um, like, uh, some sort of stability, security, like, financially, they want to maybe even collaborate or communicate with you. This could, again, be a mother or like, um, like it doesn't necessarily have to be your mother, but it's like a mother energy. But can I get single jumping cards only? This? It may even be your child. Like if you have a child that has ghosted you or like doesn't call very often, I, I, you know, I do feel like it could be that like them calling because they want something. They need something from you because I did. It was the six of cups with the queen of pentacles. So even if you're not a mother, like it, it you know, you could be a father or whatever, or this may be your niece or nephew or somebody like that. But there's a child that is calling you for assistance, calling you for help. Or maybe it, they, they need money or they need something. They need help. And maybe they, they ghost you and they only call you when they want something. And that doesn't have to be a child either. It could be someone that's just very immature-like um, that only reaches out or connects with you when they want something. Look, page of wands. See, somebody here is reaching out because they want something from you. But I also feel like there's some exciting news because the page of wands is exciting. There's some exciting um, uh, incoming communication coming in. But I also feel like for some of you, um, this is only for a few of you that are watching this. There's someone that wants to reach out for a booty call because <laughs> it is the page of wands so um yeah and i got the eight of wands with the emperor here and the devil there oh and the tower look at that oh yeah some there's a there's a masculine here that is reaching out wanting like a booty call look at that can you you can you see the innuendo that i'm talking about ladies um it may be gentlemen too some of you gentlemen um but yeah you know what i'm talking about and the devil to yeah there's there's someone that 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 has ghosted you that's reaching out that um yeah that's what they want if that sounds familiar then understand if you get some sort of communication or if you've recently had some sort of communication that's what they want 
Um, but I also feel like there is definitely some exciting news. Can you clarify the... Okay, so they just want me to clarify that with another deck. So what is this stressful? You may be also a bit... Like there is some exciting news coming in. And it may be a bit intimidating with this stress card. The stressful... Can you clarify a stressful spirit? What is this stressful... So the six of pentacles. So it's like somebody here is like you may be stressed out because of finances, because like you're the one that's in charge of like having to like um, pay for everything, pay for, you know, provide for your family, make sure that your family has what they need. Um, or, or maybe there's someone here that is like just trying to take, take, take from you, even if it's not finances, it's your resources, something here. You see how... Um, the, the um, people have their hands out to this woman here and she's like, okay, like trying to like make sure everybody has what they need and give to everyone and it's clarified by the stressful. So that's very stressful, making sure that everybody has what they need. It's like you are the glue that kind of keeps everything together and you may find with the queen of swords and the devil that, you know, oh, and the two of pentacles, like you're trying to like juggle and take care of everything and everyone and it's just like, damn, I can only do so much. Like, I'm only one person and so like you may get frustrated and like you know snap or like you know get angry or um you know get um so you know just get angry and so it look there's the eight of cups that I was seeing um and so you may be like you know what I'm tired of this bullshit you know I'm gone like whatever or like you know um, so spirit really wants you to stay grounded right now because your energy is so high because you are changing and you are about to like split. And so you want to make sure to be real with people, be honest with people and tell them like, you know, um, tell people that, that, you know, that you're not just be completely transparent and honest with people and speak your mind, you know. All right, spirit, tell me more. Look, searching, you may be like, yeah, you might be stressed out because you're needing fi finances, you're needing money and um, looking for a job. And like, um, so if you are stressed out and you're looking for a job, <clears throat> that six of pentacles, that's like a really good omen from spirit for you. If you're watching this right now and you're needing a job or like you're, um, you, let's just say you're an entrepreneur and you're doing your own thing be prepared because there's a call coming in an exciting call coming in and spirit saying like you're th this is a good omen for you getting a job or if you're looking for a job or like if you're an entrepreneur and you are working on um you know like creating um like a, a business this is like incoming calls you are pulling in business so get excited. Look, get excited because there's also a career change. You may be ready to like leave your job or leave a job and go do something more fulfilling. But there's definitely like uh, some uh, pros good um, career prospects. And with this ghosting too, this may even just be you. Again, like you've been might might have been really like procrastinating, dragging your feet type of energy look truth clear vision using logic that's you right now being open honest having a clear vision not letting stress get in your way and cloud your your thinking <clears throat> tell me more spirit tell me more third party other person Okay, for some of you, you are dealing with a third party um, that might be, there's like other people interfering, causing fights and arguments um, or attention turmoil um, in your relationships. It doesn't have to be in your marriage, but like in your relationships, 
there's some sort of um, an, an, an interference here. And also too, <clears throat> if you are dating someone that keeps ghosting you or like you talk to them, it's like some on and off communication with this person. It's because they are actually entertaining another person and they're just juggling and they've not been real serious about you. So you may want to like let them go. Then someone may be like, like, um, what is it called where you where someone like gaslights you and they abuse you it's like um reactive abuse and they get you to react um and then call you the crazy one call you psycho um and so like that might be what's going on you know tell me more spirit what's going on here these aren't these cards aren't necessarily clarifying each card they're just clarifying the reading and give me more information tell me more spirit okay so if you're not the shy one if you're not the the scared introvert then you may be dealing with someone who's very shy look here's the travel that i was seeing also, too, there's a, um, you may be like, uh, there may be something here where uh, a, a masculine has recently relocated or moved, or there's like a, a masculine that you may be talking to that's at a distance. Um, uh, if you're a divine feminine, you could be the divine masculine here that's, that has something to do with traveling or being at a distance. This may even be like, um, the divine masculine traveling to you, or they may be two separate situations where there is going to be some travel relocation. And you see here, it's like the earth, there's going to be a split here. And, um, if you are single, when this split happens, you're going to meet your divine counterpart when this split happens. Um, and you will start to notice subtle changes. The split is happening soon. It's going to happen after the election or like once the... Um, once the election is announced, it's like that's the moment when the split starts. And I will clarify with my pendulum, you guys. Show me clearly. Self-care, listening to music, time alone. So, look, spirit saying as this like new beginning starts, you're you're gonna need to to really self soothe and take care of you. Um, spend time alone, disconnect because it's it's going to be very. Um, stressful um, on your body, on your physical body as you go through this split and this new beginning starts. So make sure, look, we have the Divine Feminine here too. Someone's trying to make the Divine Feminine look crazy. You may actually be dealing with a Divine Feminine that is um, that is treating you um in a way that I don't want to call anybody crazy, but like you may feel like this person is um, acting out of character. And look, we have immature, lacking direction. So someone you're dealing with is acting very immature, um, treating you a certain kind of way. Look, sudden wealth inheritance. You are, look, and then look, giving, receiving money. And that's the six of pentacles too. You are about to really be very, very wealthy. And someone here wants your money or thinks that they deserve your money or wants to like take your resources. And I'm definitely seeing, okay, dating multiple people. If you're dealing with like, if you're just like, if you're not married, um, and you're dealing with someone that is like been distant or like ghosting you is because they are dating multiple people. This could also be you dating multiple people as well, which would be more than one person. But, um, yeah, I saw that giving, receiving money that, that folded like this when the sudden, uh, wealth inheritance came out. So, 
be prepared because someone once this money comes in there is money coming in you may even um be like this this job that's coming in uh this money that it's like um it's like that's when people are going to be harassing you for your money they're going to be wanting your abundance they're going to think that they deserve your money but spirit's saying you don't have to take care of you first don't let the ish stress you out what is this um spirit one more card can you clarify this sudden wealth inheritance this may be also like if you have siblings um like there may be an inheritance that's coming that's supposed to be split between you and your siblings there's there's money that's going to come in that's going to allow for you to change your circumstances in a in a huge way with that six of wands it's like you're getting some sort of money it's like there's a reward coming from the universe there's like promotions pay raises tell me more about this sudden wealth inheritance spirit sudden wealth slash inheritance can you tell me more about this for collective okay so this sudden wealth is coming from your hard work your commitment look you deserve this this has been a long time coming you've been patiently waiting for this money um and it, this is coming like your skills your um abilities there's something here. oh what was that hold on you guys your skills your abilities there's something here that you're being paid for very very well something or some sort of job there's a incoming communication exciting communication very like this is something that you've been desiring that you want um that you've really been putting in an effort for and working hard you may have been really this may be something that you envisioned in the past or maybe you envisioned as a child you may have envisioned what it would be like to like be in the spotlight or to receive some sort of praise and attention and you've really been waiting for this and it's been a long time coming and you may have thought like this this is just not going to happen like you may have given up on it this is and it's sudden look this sudden too there's this sense of urgency like like you may be feeling like up against the wall feeling like i need this money now eights are very significant as well you may be a life path eight or you may just be in the energy of a life path eight give me just a moment and get some water you guys oh Oh my gosh, I almost drank the whole bottle of water just now. So like you're either um, a life path eight or like you're in the energy of um, an eight right now, life path eight. And so you could like look into that more if you like. Um, but basically that just means like hard work, you know, like investing, a master manifester, able to really manifest your heart's desires right now through your hard work. Like there's definitely a lot of um, changes in your finances. Like you're reaching some sort of important milestone here that you're extremely happy with. Um, that's been that's like a wish fulfillment. This is a milestone that you've been wanting, that you've been waiting for, and it's like you're gonna be feeling really good about yourself. I'm also too with the changing and six of wands and the six of wands here. It's like I'm seeing you beating the odds. Like maybe you thought the odds were stacked against you, or you thought there's just no way. But it's like um, again, there's an opportunity here for you to like pat yourself on the back like maybe if you're searching for a new job or like if you're gunning for a promotion um like that you're gonna succeed your efforts are gonna succeed you're about to really the universe look at this the universe is about to make it rain on you and all of your hard work your efforts so like you may be getting into a new business with someone getting into like um uh creating like um like maybe it's something you're doing online because I know this isn't a computer that she's doing. It looks like a, an easel or something, but, but it still does kind of look like a computer and she does have a laptop over there. So you may be doing something online plus the six of wands can represent online as well. So, um, 
but like you're there's something here like you you're gonna accomplish like a work-related goal and you're gonna be receiving praise and recognition for this you know so it's like um I feel like you're gonna be receiving like some sort of recognition from uh, family members, friends, romantic partners, people just like proud of you. People are like smiling and patting you on the back and saying, wow, like way to go. That's so great. You've done amazing. We're so happy for you. You know, it's like um, you may be even like this may be like some sort of self-taught skill or ability or like you've gone to school or like you're going to school but like you're really focused you're dedicated on something like practicing you've been practicing something or like you're you're um going to be practicing working hard you may be um like this is like either either this is a new job altogether and like you're getting like on the job training or if this is like you working for yourself then it's like you are practicing and like really trying to like further your not you're either practicing or like you're working on furthering your knowledge on this particular career and like you're really giving it your all like you you may be like an apprentice or something like that but regardless like like um one thing's for sure like you're really dedicated to working towards like achieving this uh success and being seen being in the public eye in the spotlight in some form or fashion this is this new timeline that you're going on where you are like instantly manifesting what you want there is like you're not in competition with anyone you're in this energy or you're moving into this energy of um the universe being bountiful and plentiful and like this is going to be your reality and so like you you know there may be some lingering chaos around you someone that is around you is still in this low vibe energy that may try to bring you down so you will have to make sure to really take care of yourself you know take care of your mind your body your soul your energy I'm hearing that song. She works hard for the money. So hard for it, honey. Look, don't it? She works hard for the money, so you better treat her right. <laughs> you good? You know what I'm saying? Like, doesn't that what it looks like? Isn't that what it looks like? Look, she's working hard for that money, ain't she? <laughs> but, um, but anyways, this is what I have for you guys. I hope um, at least one of the messages here um resonated with you and thank you so much and if if anything in this reading resonated with you please leave me a like and let me know and plus um if you comment too and you're subscribed you could potentially be um uh, a winner for a free 15 minute reading giveaway so um where you can ask any question you'd like but uh anyways you guys i'm gonna leave that there i'm tired um I'm going to go get myself some rest and the divine in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste.